Hi, I'm Sarah with OCTA, and this is your Transportation in Two. San Clemente is only one of a few areas in the nation with an active rail corridor along coastal bluffs. More than 8 million people visit San Clemente beaches every year, and more than 50 trains pass through in both directions every day. There are eight pedestrian crossings along the rail corridor that allow beachgoers and surfers to access the coastline safely. But listen to what a train sounds like when it blows its horn at 105 decibels as it passes through a crossing. In an attempt to enhance the quality of life for coastal residents, the Federal Railroad Administration, California Public Utilities Commission, City of San Clemente, and the Orange County Transportation Authority are researching different alternatives to reduce or eliminate train horn noise along the rail corridor. They have teamed up to explore the use and implementation of wayside horn systems. My name is Ron Reese with the Federal Railroad Administration and we're here today testing out a wayside horn uh, at a pedestrian crossing in San Clemente. Uh, the idea of the wayside horn is that instead of the horn sounding, the train horn sounding a quarter of a mile away, it'll sound right at the crossing with the noise focus at the crossing where it's needed. Uh, we're testing different sound levels uh, to find which will provide good warning to the pedestrians that are at the crossing and also measure the sound uh, it's up uh, at the residence. What's most impressive is it's a very solutions oriented, safety anchored endeavor and we're very optimistic that there will be some solutions here. We also see it as a two-phase ideally solution. One would be the installation as appropriate of the wayside horns and then ultimately the achievement of a safety quiet zone here in our community. The wayside horn field demonstration was conducted for the California Public Utilities Commission so they can determine a horn sound level that will adequately provide notification to pedestrians of approaching trains while also limiting noise pollution to the surrounding community and enhancing rail safety. Soft enough, soft enough, soft enough.